uh, this is how I'm upgrading my off-grid solar batteries these are EG4 Life Power 4's I have six of them and so what I did is make sure they're not charging or discharging they're off the dip switch is all the way down for this is the dip switch right so all the way down means ID 0 and you plug in your upgrade cable which is a uh, RS485 I believe Make sure it's not a full regular Ethernet cable. You can't use that, and you can't use a RS-232. So you got to use their specific cable, or make one yourself. You can check out the pinouts online, and I get their program, their upgrade program, up, and I plug in the USB port in here and check the USB uh, device ID. Mine is on COM9, so I select. Com 9 and make sure there's no other communication cables plugged in. I turn it on, just the one battery, and then it'll go through its startup cycle. And okay, so it's ready. So then I'm going to connect and it says successful. I'm going to go over to the battery information just to make sure everything's good. They're only at 55 ish percent capacity right now. And then you go over to the tab that says program upgrade. You need to get the boot information. So there's 0205 and there's a 0207 version of the boot uh, hardware version. Mine's the 0207. So then that means I select the one that says 0207. And then when you do that, it will tell you program data verification is correct. And once you get that done, you hit upgrade start. Not start upgrade, but upgrade start. And then it'll go through. It will. Uh, you'll see the lights. The all the lights come on on this when it's doing the firmware upgrade. And then it goes through and upgrades. When it's finished, it'll let you know. And that's it. Move on to the next one. I'm on my last one, so this is it. Good luck.